What is up, my fire amigos? Welcome back to Paper Mario in the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we got our trains to the Rizzy. or what was his word? Rizzy's Wing Ding in town, the XS Express. But we figured out Beldum was watching us the entire time. So as of today, we are starting chapter six, and we are going to be exploring the train. First things first, as always. So in this cabin car, we have nothing. In the drawer, we have nothing. Okay, great. Great start. Let's go on to chapter, not chapter three, car three here, or room three, I should say. We got a gluttonous toad. Hi, dude. Let's see what we got in your drawer here. There are several gourmet magazines in here. One was an issue devoted to XX Express. The large photo chef's shimmy on the covers. Her smile is just blinding. Okay. Loves food. Got it. Let's go on to car two. Yeah, so there are a total of five cars. We have the head train, and there's the four cars leading out of that. We got Toodles again. Hi, Toodles. Giant mounds of cosmetics. <laughs> All right, let's go over this way now. In car one, we have... Who's this guy? Hi, dude. What is your name? Let's see what Gubel has to say about him. I knew him! I knew him! That's Sito, the movie star. Women we'll go wild for him. You know, he's all—he's hot and all, but he seems pretty stuck about being famous. I guess all celebrities are kind of like that. Um, it's too bad, because I kind of like it. Featuring several postcards and uh, yeah, uh, several items about himself. He's, like she said, a bit stuck up about himself. That could be good, that could be bad. Who knows? And here we have the... Okay, the, I'm gonna hit this uh, box right here real quick. There used to be a safe log in here, no? Am I crazy? I'm surprised it's not there anymore. Here we have the train engineer, or the, the conductor, sorry. The engineer, okay. That'll take approximately three days for the opulent luxury, I might add. So let's hear it for the Express Exe or XX Express, huzzah! What, a sticky enemy threat of some kind? Are you serious? Oh, that shan't be good for business. I can't leave control, so you have to inform the conductor at the end of the tree. Alright, so we gotta go the other way, then. <laughs> Speed! Alright, and here we are in the dining car. Hello, you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is our dining car where you eat stuff. Some people just, like to take the train so they can get our yummy, fabulous food. And a ship, we have a super famous actor on board, Zitote. Oh my gosh. So I'm so totally sweating. I so hope he's coming here to eat soon. I want his autograph. Okay, great. Hey, here's Chef Shimi. This is Chef Shimi. Hello, I am Chef Shimi, a culinary expert. Glad to make your complaintance. Uh, I mean, oh, wait, so sorry. Chief, she's my first language, you know. First language, bro. Taste lunch is so amazing, it'll make your tongue cry in shame! Please do taste it so my passion is not with her alone in a pot of loneliness. Okay. And over here we have sh our shop. And this is what I was talking about earlier. The chapter that's very cheap for the maple serves. It's 15 coins for these guys. A whopping 15. And I'm not going to buy them right now. I'll buy them towards the end of the chapter. Because I don't know if I'll find like a spare one in a box. Because I know they're like... Pretty sure there's one in this chapter. I'm not certain. Well, that's gonna go into car four now. Yeah, car four. And we have, uh, okay, this guy looks like a detective of sorts. Several detective novels. Either he's a detective and loves reading those novels, or he's a guy that plays detective and is trying to get into the character. Yikes. And here we have a businessman, okay. Let's see what we got in here. Nothing in here. Okay, that's fine. He's a Ratui businessman. He's on an express for a business, obviously. I bet he's putting everything on an expense account, huh? Is that a fringe benefit? <laughs> uh, I don't exactly understand that term, but okay. And here we have car 8, and it is the Bob Bombs from Chapter 3! Let's go! And here we have a star piece! Let's go! <laughs> this is why I was looking at the drawers. I knew one of them had. I just couldn't figure out which one it was. This is a passenger car, a blue, brown interior, and a solar shift. Passengers and cabins are here at number 678, but you knew that. Of course I did. 
thought you were going to talk about the bob bobs. That's okay. And this is the conductor. Let's talk to the conductor. Hello to you. Welcome to the X Express. I'm the conductor of this train. And as just you must be Mario, Captain Five. Make yourself at home, sir. Just to let you know, beyond here is a baggage cart. I'm sorry, I can't let any passengers in. What is that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? Uh, I see. Good gracious me. Thank you for letting me know. Be careful there and return to your cabin. Can do. Alright, let's go ahead and return to our cabin since that was our uh, advice from the conductor. Alright, let's keep going on to the cabin. What is everybody doing here? Hmm. Let's talk to this guy, I guess. Hmm, yes, I say without the slightest hesitation, it just smells like a case to me. What should we do? What should we call it? It's a question for it. Case of the pot supper stew that vanished suddenly and stinks. Indeed, that would be that will do nicely. That's quite a case name. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full fledged mystery that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A uh, mystery you just said, and uh, our mother says, What kind of dish is that? I am known as Pennington. You. My good. Probably likely enough, guess I'm a detective. I have a certain notes of these things, and this little conundrum, my dearest fellow impressions, poses no challenge to me. Ooh. <laughs> Let's find one as it happens. That your perpetrator took all the whole pot, stew and all, my esteemed friends. I can only conclude that one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman. Gluttonous? Excuse me? Have you seen the guy in Cabin 4? <laughs> or was it Cabin 3? I have no idea what you're talking about. Or, pardon me, sorry. Please cut my apologies to my dear woman. I felt I needed to practice my access skills, you understand? That's aggravating. <clears throat> Very good. Now we let's get serious, shall we? This, I believe, this case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Let me get this chain. So, we know, what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's about it, right? And this seems, this seems to be total square. This is good, you guys. I'm going back to my cabin. Hmm. You there, in a bit of a hurry to get back to your cabin. Yeah, you, sir, are highly suspicious. I just broke the case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zipto, the actor. Zip toad? The zip toad? No way, Mr. Detective Person. <sighs> You're just making stuff up, you Tweety Geezer. Tweety Geezer? Geezer? I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but well, then, who did it? Hmm? Huh, this, po this puzzle deals with every confounding step. Well, good sir. Uh. As a wise man once said, follow the evidence. Whoa, this looks like spilled stew on the floor. Nasty. I almost stepped it. But you just follow the trail back to the thief, don't you think? You know what? I think it might be the you know, CE so and so with a sick, yummy threat. Or it, at least. What makes you see that? If you steal, you probably have done other bad stuff, right? That is a good point, Yoshi K, but I don't think this guy is our man. I mean, he just stole some dinner. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and follow it. Just like in Chapter 3, this trumpet was hard. And it's Cabin 3. Leads all the way to Cabin 3. And it is our gluttonous man again that I just mentioned prior. That's hefty. The gourmet toad isn't an entree out there he can't lit. Literally, he's here for the train and the excellent food. He's got uh, whatever she said. What do you want? Ugh. Sorry about that. No. What are you saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food, so you blame me right away with no evidence. Not nice. What? Drops stew on the floor outside? Uh, no, no, no. I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff, man. There's nothing. No need to look in that drawer. They won't find anything. His eyes got so big, dude. <laughs> we, we will see the same th items as before. The magazines, the one with Seth Shimi and her smiling face. But there's something underneath the magazines. 
My brother, how do you steal a pot and put it underneath all those magazines in a tiny ass drawer? I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me! So, you were enamored. Uh, you were so enamored this too, you want to steal it and devour it? You stole all the entire pot while the chef was shopping, chopping shallots. Answer! Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Justice has been secured. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never reoccur. And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. <laughs> my keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to call from this ruffian. Now, about that note in your cabin. Huh? Yes, I know of it. As a lone detective on his train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in cabin 6 when we discuss this in private. Okay, Mr. Detective Man. Oh, and please return to pot to the chef if you could. Sure thing. I was planning on even. Bye, Mr. Gorman. Alright. To the kitchen with speed! Alright, hi, Chef Shimi. I have your pot. No, I didn't want to check the stove. <laughs> Oh, okay, sir, have you discovered my thoughts? Wait, my pot? There you go. Ah, oh, sir, you're the hero of my world. You've brought back my dear pot. It is empty, of course, but it is mine, and I love it. Thanks to you, from me. Here's just a little taste of my power and gratitude. Power for gratitude. Please fake it. Why am I supposed to this language so? Please, so safe. Please take it. It is a star piece. Let's go. Yeah, look at the size of that pot. There's just no way he hid that in a drawer. No way! Anyway, here we are at Cabin 6. Hi, already. Hi, good sir. I never actually got your name. What is your name? Let's talk, talk with Bob Riad, I guess. Aha, I've been waiting. I was rather impressed with your work on the last case, I must admit. However, I do not think this one of you apprehend is our sticky or malcom. I mean, this is for the lack of incriminating clues at this cabin. So you actually did look for clues in this cabin? Okay. New assistant? To reiterate, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from Posse Heights. Okay. I know as the circles, some circles as the pangolin with the improbably large brain. Sure you've heard of me, so that's all I say on the subject. As for your name, wait, I demand you not tell me. Hmm, I shall, I shall deduce your identity. That mustache. That nose. Hmm. Ho ho ho. All too easy. You, sir, a quite famous, obviously the famed Luigi. What? Luigi? So I guess they, everybody knows Luigi in Poshy Heights. That can't be a good thing, right? The family of bob Bombs in Cabin 8 is the a suspect because they're explosive. Okay. Oh, hey, look, it's sunset. That's just... Too easy. Mom and Dad are fighting about what to get me for my birthday. I'm so bored. I wish I had my GBA. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Conductor. Have you heard anything suspicious about this family? I just heard a lot of noise in that cabin eight with a gold ball family. I guess they're having a little domestic squabble. Well, not that's my business. Okay, great. In the safe lock is whatever. Let's go ahead and go back and talk to little Bobby here. I think we should get a little above the advanced learners set classics classic series of Bob Aubrey. Ugh. Two words: cheap and boring. I think more luxuries here. Perhaps a car or a house. What? I was too small for such things. Gold Bob, I think we the own social status. He needs some though. Further his education, not to spoil him, honestly. Pfft. I don't want any of that stuff we're they're talking about. Hey, mister, are you a detective now that you quit being a champion? Well, so, do you think you can check what I really want for my birthday? Yeah, sure, let's go. Really? Cool. If you bring what I really want, I'll give you something in return. And here's a hint, it starts with AU at the front. Now you got it, don't you? Hmm, okay. AU. 
Let's see what the uh, conductor has to say about it. Let's make sure he's hearing all of that. I can hear everything that family's fighting about over there, loud and clear. What they heard was cute. The boy dreams of being a train engineer someday. Train engineer? What engine do for a little bit like that? <laughs> okay, well... Hey, you. There's one thing I'm thinking of that has that, so I'm gonna see if I can get it right now. Alright, we need to go back to the train engineer's... Uh, uh, train engineer at the front of the train. I'll meet you guys there in just a moment. Alright, and here we are back at the front car with the train engineer. Hello, train engineer. The above matters because of my train engineer? Well, shucks. Do you have to do something else? Oh, wait. I forgot he gives you two hints. Oh, I gotta go back to, to little Bub. No! You solved this incident in record time? I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, could you help me with your skills? I can need your help. Really? Wow, okay, so lots of these shell rings that my ex-boyfriend gave me. And they're all, like, full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Could you maybe look for them or something? Please? Alright, so the reason I stopped there is just that person and then... I think it's Toodles is missing something of their own. Now we're back in this final car. Let's go ahead and talk to the little bub. As they're still fighting. Do you want another hint? Yes, I would like another hint other than AU. Okay, here's your second hint. It's a certain person's all to graph. Alright, the, the term is autograph. So we gotta go back to the train engineer and get his autograph. That's what we need. That is Bub's present that he wants. Alright. Speed! More like skip! <laughs> Alright, now that we are here, like, like I was saying before, I think we need to talk to Toodles. I think she's missing something too, no? Oh, the fine, fine specimen of man. You are very marvelous, dear. You solved rather the tough little mystery, don't you? Didn't you? Yes, you did. You're so ruggedly smart. Perhaps you could help me with something as well. I knew it. Okay. Good. Yeah, I'll help. Oh, how absolutely lovely. Now listen well. I'm looking for a gold ring that I lost somewhere on this very train. Could you please hasten the search along for me, brilliant man? Yes, I will. So we need a gold ring and a pair of shell earrings. That's what we need. That's the two things we need to find for it. So, Chef Shimi gave us a, a star piece. We found a star piece somewhere else. I wonder what the other two are going to give us. You want my autograph, sir? Oh, this for a little bit. Yes, of course. Here you are, sir. Autograph. There you go. What is that name? I don't even know. It looks like Carl. <laughs> oh, gosh, I never get an autograph for it. That felt fantastic. Yeah, you and your short arms pulling that giant lever. <laughs> so, the gimmick of this train is that every time you help someone, they give you a prize. So, we've gotten a star piece from one. And then we found a star piece. So, the other three could give us something else. What are, what are the other three going to give us, you ask? Well, we're about to find out with little Bub. Let's go ahead and speed! Hi, little bub. So, did you bring me the thing I want most? Dude, his anticipation with his feet is killing us. Look at that animation, dude! <laughs> Alright, his prize for helping him is a shine sprite! Let's go! Let's go! Thanks for, uh, thanks for the autograph. Take good care of it, I promise. Alright, now we need to exit the car. And it is now nighttime. Okay, let's go back to our cabin for a second so we can take a rest so we can skip the day here. Alright, here we are at our cabin now. Let's go ahead and rest. Yes, I would. The day didn't flip? Uh huh? Oh, I know what I did. We gotta go talk to the conductor. 
to see if he's found anything else for this sticky, yummy threat we got. So it looks like it was an autograph for uh, Luigi? Hmm, just as I suspected. No, you did not! Oh, the doctor just came by looking for you, Luigi. This smells like another case. Well, Mr. Pennington, I forgot to talk to you first, but I will talk to, to, to the conductor now. <laughs> Mr. Mario, I'm glad you spoke to me. I just remember something suspicious. I found myself one blanket short when I was handing them out to the passengers. I gave the last patch of my own blanket to so make up for it, but it's vexing. I have an exact blanket count, which means that someone can board without a ticket. That still it must, might be your suspect, suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, I don't get my blanket back. It'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. Could you look for the unticketed... Uh, uh, passenger, get the blanket for me? Great, thanks. We'll have to keep watching. I'll be waiting for good news. So, Blanket P.I. Maru is on the case. Now, there's only one cabin in this entire room that is unaccounted for that's not ours because we've been moving around this entire chapter. What does that mean, you may ask? Well, skip! This cabin is cabin four. Now, I did bring out Vivian because we do need to bring out Vivian for this cabin here. First thing we need to do is just go ahead and go into the ground. There's a ghost! No offense, Vivian. So, you found me. Uh, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Oh, yes, I did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. Are you sticky on me, threat? No, that's not such a thing. I can't even hold physical objects like a pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is. You do something for me. What do you say? Yeah, for sure. All I need is... You're live! <laughs> no, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. I think my luggage is still here in the baggage car. Inside my bag is a diary since I kept it in early childhood. I feel like someone would finally read it and tie me into this world. Or, the thing that kept me tied to this world. Ugh. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do, I'll show you where the blanket is. Sure thing, bud. Oh, don't you dare read my diary. Because if you do... <laughs> the horrible fate awaits you. I love the animation, look you. Anyway, so we need to talk to the conductor about the package car blanket thing. Oh, there we go. Alrighty, here I am, Mr. Conductor. I've got a story for you. Did you find the blanket? What? A ghost? Eee! And you won't give up the blanket unless you get the diary from the baggage car? Uh, I see. Hold on. Go in. Don't say no to ghosts. Alright, let's enter the baggage car. And this is the baggage car. So, there's not anything you can do in this room. The... the the bag is back there. We can get to this area up there, but not right now. Not right now. So we just need to go here, slip through the crack, and grab the chest. And there's the ragged diary. All right, I can tell you right now. I, I mean, I'm actually gonna exit first, and I'm gonna tell you what I wanted to tell you. Did you find the diary? Wonderful! I knew you would. Now, I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. But I would like to see what's written on it. So, if you read the diary now, and even in front, of the, in front of the conductor, it is an instant game over. That is the horrible fate that awaits us. So we are not going to read the diary at all. Like, at all. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to Cap 4, shall we? Do you find my diary? In that case, could you place it in the drawer? Yes, I can. Let's go ahead and place it in the drawer here. Ragged diary. Yes, this is my diary. Very well. Blanket is right here. If you can't hold physical objects, how are you able to hand us your blanket? Oh my goodness. Okay, game. Pick a lane. If you're ready, you might be really a spirit like me right now. Now you can go peacefully from this world. Thank you so much. You'll probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. The hat tip off and everything. Farewell, Mr. Toad Ghost. <laughs> Actually, maybe not. 
<laughs> I've been here for so long, I've gotten kinda used to it. The wood panel is so great, maybe stay here just a little, little while longer. I can leave whenever so, that's all there is to it. <laughs> Alright then, Mr. Ghost, stay here instead of going to peace. Yikes. Big yikes. Just gonna go ahead and save it there.